Yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, this is my uh, little couple hundred dollar parts bike that I picked up this winter, and uh, and you know it's just getting just now getting to spring. Thanks a lot, flying fool. Uh, it's just now getting spring, uh, and so I'm able to get it out of the garage and get out here and uh, do a little bit of tinkering with it. <clears throat> I got to make this quick because because uh, the it takes forever to download or upload these things onto YouTube. So anyway, this clown that I got it from see all this wiring. Up here, I mean, this thing is a tangled up mess in the wiring. But I jumped, I jumped it over to the ignition on the on the uh, fuse box, what's left of it, and uh, was actually able to get it to start up and run. I had the back bleed. Uh, I had no clutch at all. The clutch, the clutch reservoir was empty. So here's our uh, here's our uh, bleed valve for the slave cylinder. I opened it up, hit it with a hit it with a syringe full of. Uh, Full of uh, brake fluid, and pushed it up into the into the master cylinder, and then bled it back off this guy right here, you guys. This uh, this uh, front of the front of the master cylinder, and I uh, had some air in there, and had to bleed that back. But I got a clutch now, um, and uh, jumped it over onto this onto this onto the ignition on the fuse, and it'll start right up and run. And uh, I mean, this thing's a this thing is a disaster, but the motor. And transmission are solid in it. It runs just great, so I'm good there. Now, uh, the, one of the things that I wanted you guys to listen to is <clears throat> I've got what I'm thinking is probably a, uh, a U joint gone or something along that line in a drivetrain, and I just want you guys to hear what I'm hearing, if you can, on this video. Um, I want you to hear what I'm hearing and tell me what you think. Tell me if I'm on the right track. So. I'm going to set the camera down here. You might not be able to see much, but hopefully you'll be able to hear some things. If I can get this thing to set on the ground here. Yeah. All right. Now, I don't know if you guys could, you probably couldn't see me or whatever, but I was just bouncing the clutch on it and uh, in first gear and knocking it back and forth. It doesn't, it doesn't, the transmission and stuff are solid in it. It's just, uh, it's just noisy rocking it and back and forth and stuff. And I think it's probably, it's probably the U-joint. And uh, that's this, you've, you've uh, heard people talk about the replacing the U-joint. Here's the rubber boot that I've that that they talk about having to pull back to get at there to line it back up again to pull it down and uh and back here are the separation is the separation joint uh so all that's got to come back apart and, and to get into my parts bike out back and hopefully i've got some parts that'll work with it and stuff but it sounds good motor sounds good in it and all that kind of stuff so yeah well worth a couple hundred bucks you know to uh, maybe have something to ride this season <laughs> between this one and my other two uh, combine three into one and make one running bike one running riding bike so so there you have it it runs it's alive it works here's the here's the switches this guy put down here headlight uh, starter switch I still haven't figured out what he's got these these wired up too but this thing is a cobbled up mess electrically as you can see I got all the stuff for it. I got the radio uh, in a box in there. These things guys are all just laying here in pieces and parts. You know, it was a beautiful bike in its day. It's got 68,000 miles. Speedometer works on it, and and uh, the gauges seem to work okay. So, so maybe you guys will see me with parts of this onto my old one, onto my other one that I was riding last year. So, kind of make a mixed bag because that one's wore out. Anyway, that's what we got.